So we're back at K Woods Game Lodge in South Africa and today we're hunting a mixed bag, guinea fowl, franklin and whatever comes up in front of us. So the morning started very early, um, I had a knock on my door at six o'clock and was welcomed by an absolutely fabulous sunrise, the sort of sunrise you only really get here in South Africa. The morning was very, very cold and very, very frosty. In fact, it felt like a winter's day back home in England. Now, guinea fowl are a strange looking creature. Beautiful blue faces, kind of a mottled feathered body, a little bit like the size of a large pheasant back in the UK. And then this prehistoric looking horn that grows out the top of their head. So as we were driving onto the fields this morning, uh, the flocks took off and then they flew into the brush, into the cover. So we got out, kind of lined up around the brush and then gently pushed our way through. So the way we um, approached these birds was half of it was like a, you know, like a mini walk top and half of it was like a mini driven. On the walk top we were struggling because the birds, it was just running in front. So we sort of changed tactics. Now, we'd got Bob and Alex in the bush, and they was beating, and there was me, Ian, and Avier, and we was on the outside. We, um, <laughs> we tried to do a pincer movement on these guineas, but it's a little bit like an army manoeuvre. They uh, split in every different direction. They went into the thickest bush they could find, and luckily for them, that's where they're gonna stay. Guinea fowl shooting is probably the hardest shooting they'll ever do in Africa, only because they're very clever. It's fun. I think there must have been at least three or 400 birds came into this block. And I think there's only about three, maybe four, come out of it. So I think the guinea fowl won at this, uh, on this one. <laughs> But then shortly after that, I had 10 or 15 birds over me, and I managed to drop one out of that. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, they didn't fly my way. But Javier and Matt both got shots off, and they both took birds. On the way back, we followed the game fence that you can see that surrounds the estate, because Alex had seen three or four coveys of Orange River Franklin. Now, they're about the same size as a, a grouse, and they act a little bit like quail. So as you come up to them, they kind of tuck their heads down in the grass. You've got to get up and then flush the birds, and they'll be really quick. So here we have an Orange River Franklin. Um, so we kind of came either side of him. They got up, the three of them got up in total, managed to get one shot off, but they're a little bit too far uh, when I took my second shot. So yeah, beautiful bird, great eating, and a nice one for, for the bag. So I think that's so far six guinea fowl and a Franklin. Not bad for a day's work. Lovely morning stalking. And it's this type of hunting which I really enjoy. Of course, driven shooting and waiting in hides, it's all very exciting, but actually getting out there, getting into the bush, tracking, finding the animals, trying to outsmart the birds is an extremely exciting form of wing shooting. And even though there aren't as many birds in here as perhaps when we go pigeon shooting, each one has been earned, either through physical effort and endurance or through strategically outmaneuvering the birds, or in some cases, just plain luck. But overall, another fantastic day, and then hopefully there's more yet to come. <laughs>